740 with Dave and Rachel. Hey, we got an incredible kid. This is a really incredible kid. You'll love him. And we'll introduce you to him in five minutes. Jason McCoy, and she's good for me on today's country, VX 93, 743 with Dave and Rachel. We've got another incredible kid to introduce you to this week. He's got funny hair, this kid. He has funny hair, that's He's right. He's got funny hair. There's a little <laughs> hint for you. Hang on, we'll meet him in a moment. A few showers still kicking around, but it is beginning to clear up a bit. That's okay. High today around 21 degrees, and uh, it's foggy, damp. A little bit on the sunny side and 16 degrees. The sun is trying to come out, I think. Yes. VX93 traffic. We've got lane restrictions on the 401 eastbound between Colonel Talbot and Westminster Drive. We have a crash on the 401 eastbound between Drumbo and Blenheim Roads. The 402 eastbound off-ramp to Glendon Drive is closed from 8 a.m. till 11 a.m. this morning. The westbound off-ramp to Glendon closed from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you spot something else, let us know. Star 93 on Rogers Wireless or 686 News, 686-6397. The BX Breakfast with Dave and Rachel. Incredible. Kids. Our incredible kid today is 10-year-old Carter Burwash. He's done a lot of things. He saved all of his money to send to the World Wildlife Foundation to save a polar bear. He has dyed his hair blue and went bald to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And right now, he has dyed his hair pink, so he's got pink <laughs> hair right now for the CIBC Run for a Cure. So, Carter, I know that your Nana is a breast cancer survivor. Is that one of the main reasons why you dyed your hair pink? That is probably the main reason that I dyed my hair pink. <laughs> and why why do you do all these things? Because you've done so much and you're only 10 years old. Why do you get involved in all of these campaigns? I get involved in all of them because I think that it's really nice to give back to people. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you, uh, That's uh, how, very old you, how old are you again? <laughs> how old? I'm 10. You're t are you sure you're not 30? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How, how do the classmates, where do you go to school, Carter? Uh, I go to school at Emily College. How did everybody, uh, everybody at school react when they saw, first of all, your blue hair? When did you do the blue hair? Was that last year? Yeah, that was last year. How did they react? Um, they were really surprised. <laughs> yeah? And now yeah. and now you've got pink hair? And they were even more surprised. <laughs> they were even more surprised. So tell me how your campaign is going for the Run for the Cure right now. Uh, so far I've raised about, like, over a thousand dollars. Wow. Wow. Good for you. And who are you hitting up for money? Um, I have my website on the CBIC Run for the Cure website. Yeah. Okay. So you have your own, own uh, pledge website there that people can donate to? Yeah. Okay. And, and like... Off the computer, I've been doing things like going around and getting money, and some of my mom's friends and my dad's friends have been donating. That's great. Now, Carter, do you think that it's important for other kids your age to get involved in, in campaigns and other things like this? Well, I don't think they'd have to, but it'd be a good choice for them so that they could be just like me and give back to the people. Can't say it any better than that, Carter. Uh, thank you again for uh, being with us on the radio. Congratulations. You really are an incredible kid. Good luck uh, with the run for the cure. Thank you. It's Carter. Do we mention he's only 10 years old? I think so. I think he's just incredible. He's setting an example for all of us, and we will post uh, a link. We'll have a link on our Facebook page. Yes, to his. Uh, if you'd like to donate to his Run for the Cure campaign. You'll find it on our Facebook page. Tell us about some